Hello there YouTube, how the hell are you? My name is Vac and we are here today to continue our discussion of the races of Crowfall. Today we're talking about the Centaur. We're bringing mythology to life yet again and having a look at this four-legged, two-armed, equine race in the Crowfall universe. Now, this is a pretty interesting race. Uh, they have you know ups and downs like anybody. So looking at their statistics, they get a plus 30 bonus to Constitution, which is not an excessive number of uh, bonus attributes at the start. Um, you know, 30 is basically the baseline. You get 30 strength as a human. Uh, some races give 100 or more. Uh, so nothing to sneeze at. I mean, nothing to really get excited about there. 30 Constitution is nice. But you'll need it to reach this incredible Constitution cap because they do have max Constitution cap at 350. They have a, they are a little stronger than average at 300 on the strength cap. And then everything else, dexterity, intellect, and spirit are all just slightly below average. So these statistics lend the centaur to being a frontline fighter. And that's where you'll see them most of the time, especially when you look at their class selections, which we'll get to in a minute. But for now, let's real, look real quick at their, uh, at their gra granted powers and have a look at some of these passives. So they start off with Hungry as a horse. Now this is uh, much like uh, the Minotaur and the Half Giant. They have to eat a little more than your average character. And uh, I, I'll say again, this doesn't bother me at all. Like this might be an impediment when you first start the game and you're kind of broke. And it'll just mean you'll have to hunt a little more often. Otherwise, this is really not at all a, a roadblock to an experienced player in the game. Feeding yourself, not an issue. Don't let it hold you up from playing this race. Uh, so next up we have Legion Strength. There's a very big uh, kind of Roman Legion kind of uh, aesthetic to the Centaur and all of their equipment. So Legion Strength increases all nearby group members' attack power and support power statistics by 75. This is... This is a buff to your entire group. And so that's pretty good. And it really makes it where in top end RVR slash PVP, you really want a centaur in your group of five people that you're in. You know, they're not necessarily the top flight choice for any of the classes that you might play them with, but um, it's worth it to have one around for that buff. That buff is incredible. And of course, that buff applies to them as well. So even when they're solo, they're getting the benefits of that. So um, Sure-Footed is next. And this is a pretty interesting one because what this does is it, it prevents the damage from removing you from a mounted state. Now, this status effect still can. Crowd control still can do it. But what this means is, is that people shooting you will not knock you off your horse. And in fact, your mounts will not, will not show. Keep moving, guy. In fact, your mounts... Your mount will not show in the game. This is the one race where that won't happen. You'll just get a status effect. It'll be there's going to be like a little uh, uh, a little glowy effect around you to show that you're mounted. But uh, more importantly, this means that you cannot be uh, uh, dismounted by damage. So you're going to be able to ride in a mounted state straight into the middle of that fight in RVR if you want to. Way better than anybody else. Most people are going to get dismounted once the spells start flying. So uh, that's a pretty big moon. That's, that's not a bad benefit at all. Now they get trail, ma trail Master, like a lot of races, and this is an out of combat movement speed bonus that starts to build up once you drop out of combat. And eventually your pathfinding uh, will tick off and then you'll get Trail Master. This, they get the best version of it. They get 25% speed boost, but this is an out of combat speed boost uh, that does not apply when you are mounted. And to, to me, the like, trail master is, is not that impressive. There's nothing to write home about with this. Uh, it has no applications in combat at all. And uh, it's not that great out of combat. It's not, not a really that big a deal. Uh, so last up, we have two active abilities. Wild Charge, which kind of speaks for itself. Charge forward, breaks armor. And a rear kick, which is, you know, what you'd expect. It's a rear horse kick to somebody behind you. And we can get a quick look at those now and check out their dodge roll. Uh, but one last thing to mention, actually, while I'm here, is you'll see that they get a, a extra equipment slot granted to them, the horseshoe. And so this is a, a slot down here on their equipment tab 
that other races simply do not have. And it, it cannot be overlooked the benefit of having an additional equipment slot. They get boots like everybody else, but they also get horseshoes. So that's an extra piece of equipment that blacksmiths can make if they uh, it, you have to find a dropped recipe out there in the world. Nevertheless, so, so you're not probably not going to have one immediately, but eventually when you get this guy geared up and kitted out, he's going to have just a little more oomph than other races from his gear statistics. So that's something to think about. The rear kick is just what you'd expect, a rear kick. Now, um, they have a, a pretty damn good dodge roll. It is a 20 meter, it's not a teleport obviously, but a nice 20 meter dash uh, on one pip. And so, uh, let's, tr let's try that charge again. That's what it's supposed to look like, there we go. So that's about a 10 meter charge forward, nothing too special. Um, but it does have a nice effect in breaking armor. So pretty useful. And if you're a frontline fighter with this, with this race, you're probably going to use it on your bar. Um, and then of course, one more look at that. They get a nice 20 meter leap forward, which can be pretty handy to get yourself into or out of combat quickly and out of the reach of other players. So let's go and have a look at what classes the Centaur can play and talk about our final analysis. Okay, so here we are at Character Select, and we can see here that there are three choices for the Centaur to play in classes, and that's Champion, Cleric, and Knight. Uh, of the three, I feel like Knight is probably their best option. Uh, they have uh, an above average strength cap, uh, and they have a, a maximum constitution cap. Uh, and, and a pretty decent, a decent enough bonus to Constitution to start. So any of these three you pick, you're going to be tanky. You're going to be a little bit tanky, uh, a little more so tanky than a lot of races. But um, the Cleric, I'm not so sure. I'm not really sold on it. I mean, it, it would be worth having a Centaur Cleric just maybe for that group buff alone to the 75 to attack power and support power. Um, especially if you don't have another centaur in your regular group. But uh, I still feel like with the low spirit, they're going to lose out and heal to the other classes, to the other races in the end. But you can still make one competitive of that, I am sure. Uh, and then, of course, they're a great choice for knight and a pretty good choice for champion. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong with any of these selections. They have really tailored the uh, possible classes well to the class here, because uh, these are three good choices. Uh, like I say, but the, the only thing that holds me up is the below average spirit cap. You're not even gonna have as much spirit as a human, and that affects your support power, which affects your healing power. So I'm not, uh, this will not be the best healing cleric you could get in your group. Uh, but the group buff, like I say, where you're adding that bonus to four other people may tip the scales in your mind, and that's perfectly valid. So uh, that will conclude our talk about centaurs today. We'll be back in the next video to talk about Ganesians, the final race that we have to speak about. Uh, if you enjoyed this or if they found it helpful, I would love it if you could give us a like or a subscribe. It helps us get eyeballs on the channel and helps us grow, and we'd sure appreciate that. So if you'd like to join our Crowfall Discord community, there's a link in the description below, as well as links if you'd like to join our guild, Reckoning, or if you'd like to support the channel. So anyway, thank you for watching. Appreciate you. So until I see you guys again, be cool, keep gaming, I'm back, and I'm out of here.